You know the audiences are biased against a film when they give it a 3.8 out of 10 on IMDb before it's even released in most places. That's no moon. We are reviewing the highly anticipated reboot of the 19 something or other classic. classic. Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters, one of my favourite films of all time. One of many um, people's favourite films. Let's give a bit of backstory towards this. Uh, it is literally the most controversial film of the year in terms of It's of the most audiences. disliked film trailer on YouTube so people, ever. People hate this film before it's even out. We've seen it, we're going to give you our verdict yeah. on it, tell you whether we liked it or not. Here's the randomizer. Who's going to be talking about the plot today? Randomizer. Wi-Fi speed, don't let me down. Oh, it's Tom. Okay. okay. Tom got it. I well, the it. plot of this film is about two childhood friends. Um, Played by Kristen Wiig and Melissa McCarthy. Yeah, yeah. Abby Yates and um, Erin 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 Richards. No, yeah, something like that. No, I don't know. Erin Gilbert. Erin Gilbert. Erin Gilbert. Erin Gilbert, Gilbert, Gilbert. That's it. Erin Gilbert and Abby Yates. Played by yeah. Melissa McCarthy. Those two. They're childhood friends. One is uh, trying to be uh, like a big professor at university, while of the Columbia. other. Uh, that's uh, while, while Kristen the Wig. yeah, it's Kristen Wiig. While she the other, who Melis is Melissa McCarthy, is at another university who's, or science institution. Yeah, science institution who's studying the paranormal. Studying the paranormal, yeah. And they both wrote a book when they were younger about ghosts and everything, and um, that, sort of, yeah. that sort of draws them together. They meet and um, end up going to a place Separate that's ways. yeah, yeah, they, and they end up going to a place that's meant to be haunted things go down and then they become the Ghostbusters and it's sort of just there's, after that there's not much plot it's more them just hunting well, ghosts. There is it does have stuff to it but obviously we're not going to spoil that here because a, a lot does go on. Yeah um, and there's like a, a main there's story. a main villain and stuff but it, uh, yeah. there's not much and then you've obviously got focus yeah. on him. you've got Kate McKinnon who works alongside Melissa McCarthy's Elfman? character. Uh, yep, and you've What's got. What's her name? I forgot what her name. You've is. got Leslie Jones, who plays uh, Patty? Patty Tolan, who works um, as a In subway the, yeah. operator. So she knows New York City uh, like the back of her hand. So she probably way the too well. Like, yeah, yeah. She joins the Ghostbusters, and she's sort of, you know, she's sort of the comic she's relief the Winston, character. The yeah, she's sort of the Winston of the group. Yeah. Like each character sort of represents a character that you would have had in the original Ghostbusters. So I'd say Melissa McCarthy's sort of like. The funny character, sort of like, um, you know, Bill Murray, and then you've got uh, Kristen Wiig, who was sort of like the straight guy slash like sort of the smartest the, one. Would well, you the say? smart, I'd say the smartest one is is uh, Egon, who I think Kate McKinnon represents. Cause she's sort of like the technical one. That's true. Yeah, and then you've got yeah Kristen Wiig, who's like sort of the average Joe. Just like uh, Dan Aykroyd was as uh, yeah. Ray Stance, so uh, they did sort of take the personalities of the original Ghostbusters. But what I'll say about the film and what I will praise about it is that it doesn't completely copy the original. Um, no, it does have a similar plot, but the way these characters meet, it's very different actually. And um, obviously, they still they still fight ghosts and they still have their origin. But I'll say it's its own film. It stands on its own two legs. The film, like the film it. surprised me because I went in thinking. That it was set in the same universe as the old Ghostbusters. Yeah, movie. they didn't really make that clear. I thought it was going to be a sequel to the past two, but it's not. It's set in a. It's set in like a different universe from the old ones, where um, none of this has happened. Yeah, before. none of what happened before has happened in this. This is like the first sort of yeah, major sort paranormal of event and in the this first film, viewing of the Ghostbusters. Characters are like ghosts don't exist, you know. Uh, I'm glad they did it because if they just had it a complete follow-on, like a sequel, it wouldn't have made much sense for people to go, "Oh, Ghost didn't exist," you know. Um, so I like that they sort of that they made it their own thing and that they had it set, you know, before anything had ever happened. Yeah. In Ghostbusters Despite universe. Despite that, you do have cameos from a bunch of original cast members from yeah, Ghostbusters. Yeah. Obviously, not Harold Ramis, but me like all the other cast. Uh, Many of the main people, and they're pretty, and pretty they good. Are, I think they're great cameos. They are pretty good. This film I really did enjoyed. have a nice tribute to Howard Ramis though at the end. Yeah. yeah, they did say this film was for him, and I like that they sort of they acknowledged him in the film. Yeah, um, it was nice because obviously he yeah. died, and it was very sad. And yeah, I want to say that I think this film was uh, really enjoyable. Like yeah. I thought the new cast yeah, definitely. were great. I was Everyone not annoyed was by any of them. Not like there's not one single character that I thought was like a bit too much. Yeah, At times yeah. I was like, okay. I Some jokes it. do fall flat, but it's very funny. Chris Hemsworth, yeah. he was very good yeah, in the film. He, he I was laughing. Really, yeah. Every time he was on screen, I was laughing. He doesn't get nearly enough screen time. 
because obviously the Ghostbusters are the main focus, which is fine. But Chris Hemsworth was hilarious. And uh, Leslie Leslie Jones. Jones. I didn't know much about her. I've never seen her in anything. I think she's on an American skit show called Saturday Night Live. Yeah, Kate McKinnon uh, as well. Obviously Melissa McCarthy and so they're both comedy act. They're all comedy actresses. They're all from SNL. I think Leslie Jones Um, was the funniest. She was so like she she was. was She plays kind of the stereotypical. I was expecting for her to be like sort of Kevin Hart ish, where they're loud and screechy. And it's she's like, that to an extent, but she yeah, does it she so is, much. But she does it well. She does and it better than Kevin Hart. Yeah. <laughs> if you've seen definitely, if you've seen our review of the boss, you know that we're not the biggest Melissa McCarthy fans. But she was also yeah. good in this film. She yeah. wasn't. She wasn't annoying. <laughs> um, she was good in the film. Yeah, she actually had some funny um, moments. As yeah, well. Melissa McCarthy. This is probably. I'd say it's probably the best her film best I've seen her in. I mean, her best role. Yeah. I haven't seen Spy, so I can't really. It's the best role in recent Spirit. years because everything she's yeah. done, she plays the same sort of character, and she is very Melissa Ma- McCarthy like in this film. But whereas in, in this, she she and she's actually pretty intelligent. And yeah, she's yeah. They didn't make her like the big dumb idiot like yeah. they did in sort of the boss or um, what else? Like uh, maybe like uh, bridesmaids, you know? Yeah, so yeah. She's actually pretty good in this, I'd say. She is. Everyone did a good job. Uh, a lot of praise, to Chris Hemsworth. Call me sexist if you will. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. As the only male character, <laughs> main male character in the film, you can call me sexist when I say he's the best, but he was the best purely because he was hilarious. Yeah. Um, and what I will say is that people talking about this film before it came out, I didn't love the trailers. Um, no. When the theme was released by Fall Out Boy, I was like, yeah, I'm not too into it. So I wasn't, I was judging this film before it came out, but I wasn't one of those people that went, I hate it, I'm not going to watch was, it. I was excited yeah. for it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't was genuinely excited. go, I hate this film before it came out. Um, like I said in the intro, 3.8 on IMDb. Most of those people have not seen the film. Yeah, there's, about, there's about three actual totally reviews yeah. on there, two of which are bad reviews, fair enough. One of them's, a, well, I think there's four reviews, I think two were good. Um, and it was like, you know, these are the people that have actually seen the film, so it's fine. But if you haven't seen the film and you're just rating yeah. it down, I think watch the film because it is an enjoyable you'd, film. You'd be surprised at how much you enjoyed it. And one thing I want to talk about is a lot of people are saying it's sexist against men. Yeah, and that they just spend the whole no time way, no, complaining I mean, about men and yeah. shit men are. I didn't main, see that at all. There's none of that. The yeah. main then male character, it. he's a complete idiot. But exactly. that was done for laughs. If he was a female or a male, it was done for laughs. Um, you've got the, the main villain was a male so the, the main two male characters yeah they're stupid one of them's evil one of them's stupid one of them's a bit weird but yeah. they're not doing that to, to get at men they're it's doing like it because it's like when people said it's just it's just characters yeah, yeah. it's like when people said Furiosa in um is it Furiosa in Mad yeah, Max Fury yeah. Road was feminist propaganda uh, it wasn't. She was just a really good ma- uh, yeah. female character. And in my opinion, this wasn't feminist propaganda. Think about it. It's directed by a man. Um, Dan Aykroyd exactly. produced this film. So, uh, Paul Feig directed it. Yeah, I definitely don't think it was a feminist film. No, I think in, males anyway. and females will enjoy this film. And if you're a fan of Ghostbusters, I'm a massive fan of the original. It's one of my favourite films of all time. Um, and I really like this film. There are um, some proper nostalgia moments in there this is. film. The very beginning of the film opens in a similar way. The opening way. to this film is um, so much like the other ones. It's, it's you've amazing. You've got really like, the librarian scream from the first one. Yeah, you've got exactly. a similar thing to that yeah. original. And then you've got oh, the yeah. title come up and they play the original Ray Parker Jr. Yeah, Ghostbusters really song. Good. I had a real sense of nostalgia when watching it and I really, really liked it. The there film. are it a lot strong. of homages to the original. Yeah. Like there's the whole, you know, they have the same logo. I saw a bit where yeah. I'm pretty sure in this... Uh, university that uh, Kristen Wiggs' character works at. There was a statue of Igor. Yeah, I'm not or entirely a bust sure if it was Igor. If it was, that was a very nice tribute. And obviously, you've yeah, got I was the only one who saw it. So. You've got Stay Puffed uh, in the film. You've got Slimer back uh, and his female companion. Yeah, who just comes a female Slimer as well. There is a female Slimer, but I wouldn't worry about it. She's not a major part of the film. Uh, but yeah, Slimer's not a major part. You've, you've got Slimer back, and that was really nice to see him. Stay Puffed, obviously. And then you've got uh, the new villain, which um, I won't tell you what it is, but you've seen it in the trailer, so you might be able to guess. But that was awesome. I really liked him. Yeah. Um, I mean, the ending, the visuals ropey at times, but I really like the visuals visuals. of the ghosts. The ghosts themselves look awesome. Uh, There was sort of, when when, uh, the four main Ghostbusters were fighting the ghosts in a big circle and you've got like... Yeah, there's a big showdown, wasn't there? Yeah, there's a big showdown and you've got the proton packs flying around stuff. It didn't look amazing, Yeah, I'll say the ghosts looked really cool. When I saw it, I thought, this doesn't look the best. But it's quite an entertaining thing to watch. Yeah, mm. it was. There's people being tossed about, and you're like, yeah, they're on wires. Yeah, you, but, you, you can obviously tell where the visuals yeah. start and end. Yeah. But 
Yeah, like I said, it's, the it's, that's always the, main... the case though. When when a yeah. film relies on CGI, when the major f scenes happen and they rely heavily on CGI, you yeah. can always tell that it's not. Because obviously, characters like Slime were originally puppets, and now they've got the enhancements to do it. They made him look so much like the original. You would have thought it was the original puppet. Um, so props to that. I really liked it. Um, they don't. I don't think they use much puppetry, but I did hear that the ghosts were real people, sort of in like light suits, which awesome. I really like that. Um, yeah, I mean, also it was motion capture. Not not really motion capture. I think it was sort of. I don't know entirely how they did it. I mean, we'll have to look that up. On the Blu-ray, there might be some but, documentary um, yeah, shit. Yeah, it was clever how it was done anyway, and I thought I thought it looked good. Um, so yeah, this film wasn't terrible, which I expected. It was, it was. I had a lot of fun. I did. I had a blast watching this film, beginning to end. There wasn't a moment that I didn't like, really. I mean, some of the jokes, yeah, they fall flat. Um, some of it's a bit repetitive, like there's certain gags involving maybe Chris Hemsworth's character yeah. doing a certain thing that he does like a million times, and it's like, okay, it stopped being funny after a while, but it didn't annoy me to an extent where I wanted to stop watching the film. I have to say, I went in there very sort of apprehensive and thinking, is it? It's fifty-fifty. It's even gonna be really good or really bad. Yeah. And yeah. When because I'd I'd heard so many things from other people saying that it was gonna be rubbish and stuff yeah, like that. It's but weird. It, uh, after coming out, I just it just enforces the point even more that you should never listen to critics or reviews before seeing a film. Always go and see a film. And judge even for yourself. After, even if you've yeah. read bad reviews or whatever, well, honestly, go and see the film for yourself because you film, might actually enjoy it. This film has almost universally good reviews on Rotten Tomatoes, so I'll say. The 76% it has, it deserves. Um, if you look on IMDb and you see the rating they've got on there, you, you know why the rating's on there. Don't don't pay attention to it. If you didn't like the film, fair enough. Um, nobody's going to judge you for that. But yeah. just don't blindly look at the IMDb rating and go, I'm not watching this purely because, yeah, yeah. Definitely. because it's Yeah, there's some like, big people who have just said, I'm not watching it because it looks terrible. It's like, oh. Yeah, fair Try enough. Try and give if, it a chance. If you think it looks terrible and you don't want to see it, no one's going to make you watch it. But, you know, if you have any sort of thought that maybe I will watch it, I'm intrigued to watch it, just watch it. If you don't like it, that's fine. We'll but, give you your money, but no. Yeah, give it a chance, because yeah. honestly, I, I was on the fence about this. I was thinking, you know, this is going to be terrible. This is just going to be sort of like Total Recall style reboot where it was just absolutely terrible, or like Robocop where it was just unenjoyable. Yeah. Um, but no, this is very enjoyable. I love the performances in it. All the cameos were great. Yeah. The music. The music loved was it. great. So yeah, I really liked Ghostbusters and I never thought I'd say that. I thought this review would be me trashing the movie and me saying, you know, but again, that's, that's like, don't judge the film before you see it because. That's what I sort of did, and I expected to hate this film, and I guess that was good because I came out the film liking it even more exactly. by the fact that I thought it wasn't going to be a great film. And obviously, it's not the best film of the year. It's it's definitely I wouldn't say it's better know, than yeah. the originals, but I'd, I'd say it's originals. a sort of very different film from the originals. It is. It's got a very different style. I mean, obviously, the first Ghostbusters film you won't be uh, with any sort of sequels, reboots. Yeah, but. Um, very enjoyable film, and I am really glad that I saw it. Considering some of the toss we've seen this year, if it makes it to the top of anyone's least favourite list, I'll be surprised. Yeah, and they yes, have definitely. You know. If people make top ten worst lists at the end of the year and put this at number and one, they've seen chances some of the are films they haven't seen this. That we've seen. So, uh, I mean, if you have seen it and you put it at the top of your list, out of, fine, but... out of all the sort of non-serious films we've seen this year, this has probably been definitely up there with one of my favourites. Yeah, oh, that's I'll, a, I'll say, I laughed from beginning to end. It's probably one of the, the funniest movies. It's it's very funny. It is, it very is funny. hilarious. Um, I never thought I'd call this film one of the best comedies of the year, but that's what it is. Uh, that's Ghostbusters. And so, we've rambled uh, on for about 15 minutes. It was worth it, though. I mean, <laughs> if, you know, if, if you guys have seen it, um, let us know in the comments, because I want to know other people's thoughts. I want to know yeah, if, yeah, people, if people genuinely enjoyed this, or if people genuinely didn't like it and actually and saw it. And if you film. didn't like it and saw the film, I want to know why. Yeah, I mean, nobody's oh. going to judge you. It's just, is it purely because of the new cast? Is it because they've rebooted a classic? You know, it'd be interesting to know people's thoughts on this one. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, let us know, and uh, thank you for watching this video. Yes. Goodbye! Goodbye! It's a space station.